Hello guys, Ragnar Kyber Revived here with a suggestion slash review slash stuff video for Metal Gear Online 3, which was released uh, with Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, a month after The Phantom Pain's release, which was in September 1st. Um, and, you know, there's just my basic suggestions for the game and what's going on with it. Uh, the Metal Gear Online Twitter account has announced that there's going to be a patch very soon and they're going to rela uh, release the patch info uh, soon enough so in uh, advance of that I've decided hey I should get my review out before it's too freaking late for it to be of any relevance so I'm going to do just that and uh, I want you guys to understand that I'm a long fan of Metal Gear Solid 5. I've never played Metal Gear Online 1, which came out with Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, but I did play Metal Gear Online 2 an extensive amount. I got all three ex expansion packs, um, and I played that a, a whole lot up until it stopped, and if you want proof of that, you can watch my Metal Gear Online Hasn't Changed video, uh, which I will see if I can leave a link to in the description. Um, so I'm a huge fan of Metal Gear Solid 5, and I was really looking forward to Metal Gear Online 3, and I'm a little disappointed. Um, it's fun, and it has the potential to be a lot, and I'm, I do get on it quite often, and I try to have a lot of fun with it, which I do, but it's a bit disappointing, and here's why. My main issues with the, the game itself are that there are very few game modes and a lot of the gear for some reason was held back and it's being released as microtransactions um, for whatever reason. I have no idea why and I'll get on to all that stuff later but let me start off with the uh, other issues that I have and other suggestions that I have. Not all of it is bad and I, I think the game is very fun for what it is and I think one of the best aspects of it is the map design I think the map design is amazing and they really did do a great job of allowing each class to be a perfectly viable option in every game mode so I think that's very cool some of the classes are a little overpowered in some aspects which I will cover um, but but the game itself is very fun and it's got a solid foundation if they want to do a lot more with it which they should and totally can um, so here are some minor suggestions that I have at first. Um, I want to see some indoor maps, something like Tomb of Tubes from Metal Gear Online 2. I don't know how that would work, honestly, because this game has dynamic weather. And for those who don't know what that is, dynamic weather is like, you know, on some maps it'll rain, or on some maps it'll have a sandstorm, on some maps it'll, uh, it'll have fog. And I think that's a really cool aspect of the maps in this game. And... I don't know how it would work in an indoor map. It would have to be something maybe a little gimmicky, like a, a water rush or something in a sewer. But uh, I'm not really sure, and I, I do want to see how they might implement it. But I think I want to see an imp or indoor map because the Metal Gear series as a whole has kind of evolved from indoor situations, um, from indoor stealth and such. So I want to see some of the indoor maps that they had in... Uh, Metal Gear Online 2 like Tomb of Tubes to see you know what they can do with that in terms of a stealth thing and would it be a viable thing and some of those indoor maps were really fun like again I keep mentioning Tomb of Tubes because it was a really fun map and I think a lot of the maps in Metal Gear Online 2 were just great maps and similarly I really like a lot of the maps in this game I think Jade no 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 not Jade Forest uh, uh, Amber Station and Blackside are my two favorite maps so far um, for Cloak and Dagger. Not the Rush versions, even though there's not a Rush version of Amber Station. Rush is basically a smaller version of the map. Um, the regular size versions of the maps are my, are, uh, those two are my favorite. I also want to see a winter map like Icebound Inferno. It would work really well with a dynamic weather if you just have like a winter storm come through. Or maybe something like a, um, a Winter Warehouse if uh, they had like a winter storm in there because I do want to see what a blizzard would look like and how it might be different from a sandstorm in certain instances. Um, maybe the coldness could make accuracy worse or something like that, you know, in terms of like you're shivering or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know if they could implement that mechanic, but uh, it would be cool if to see a blizzard instead of just a sandstorm and what a winter map could look like in this game. 
Uh, I also think there should be hit markers for Fulton Balloon. Sometimes you're shooting at a Fulton Balloon and you don't know if your shots are going through it all, so hit markers would make that a lot better. And there should be a more obvious audio cue for when a data disk is being uploaded in, in Cloak and Dagger, or when a comm, um, a communication uh, thing is being captured in, in comm control. Um, because sometimes you don't know, you just have a little um, icon that flashes and you're not really sure. Sometimes it's hard to see the icon because it's uh, blocked out by another icon. Sometimes a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that goes on that makes it hard to know when something's happening. A lot of times um, I can hear the little sound effect, but I'm not really sure. Um, and by the time I figure out that something's wrong, it's already too late and it's game over because the, the uh, enemies win. So I would I would like for there to be, you know, a more obvious auto cue. Like maybe you could get Donna Burke on there and say, hey, the enemies are freaking uploading something. So you better get to it. And I would, you know, it would be a lot more helpful when defending. And uh, make it easier for teammates to be found when they're using callouts and stuff, especially when they're calling for help. A lot of times in this game, teammates die or they're calling for help and stuff, and you just have no idea where they are. Like, you can't figure anything out. Now, um, there's a move, there's a, a skill in this game called Field Report, which tells you where people died. Um, and I'm not sure if what I'm asking for would get in the way of that. But what I am asking for is something along the lines of Metal Gear Online 2 with the SOP, where if an opponent calls out for something, calls out for help, or gets knocked out, you can tell in real time, in 3D, on the map, um, where they are. Um, and I'm not talking about the mini-map. I mean, actually, on the game screen, there's a little icon that shows up, and a, and a marker tells you where they are, when they get knocked out, or when they die, or or when they're calling for help. And there's also a thing you could do in Metagrill Online 2 where you could say enemy spotted and be aiming somewhere and an exclamation point would show up where you're aiming. I w hope they um, bring that in because that was a really cool addition to Metal Gear Online 2. Uh, being able to just say, you know, enemy spotted and, and direct your teammates toward a specific spot on the map. Especially if you're a teammate you have is, is close to that spot. They would be more... Um, capable of getting to the enemy than you would be um so that would be a cool thing and it would add more to the whole teammate dynamic which is currently kind of missing from metal gear online 3 um not missing i would say but lacking it's it encourages uh it cur encourages you to work as a team and to watch out for your teammates and have your teammates watch out for you but um at the same time sometimes i'll like I'll be five meters away from a teammate that's being choked out and murdered, and I will have no idea where they are, so I can't come to their aid. So, um, and when I call for help, my teammates have no idea where I am. So, you know, it would be, just make it a lot easier for teammates to help each other out if they knew where each other were. Um, and yeah, you can see each other through walls, but that doesn't work all the time. Sometimes I'll look for a teammate's name, and I just can't find their name anywhere. So it would be a lot more useful if they had a more real-time thing um, that shows you exactly where your teammate is, or, or loosely where your teammate is, to not interfere with the field report. And finally, for my minor suggestions, I noticed there are some call-outs missing. Um, they're, like, egregiously, like, they're just not there, and I'm like, why? Um, so here are some call-outs I would put into the game that I think would be really useful. Um, I've been marked. Stay together. Extract him. Defend the target. Buddy link. Wormhole. Now you'll realize I said stay together. Stay together is not in this game for some weird reason. They have split up, but they don't have stay together. So that seems to discourage team uh, teamwork. Um, so I, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe they'll add more later. I hope so. Maybe they'll patch some in. I really hope so. Um, but yeah, some of the callouts are just not there. Um, so that's it for my minor suggestions for Metal Gear Online. I think I'm going to actually split this video up into a separate video so that people don't get bogged down by all my stuff and maybe have a an overall video explaining everything together. But yeah, those are my minor suggestions for Metal Gear Online 3. Now let me know what you think in the comments below and please subscribe if you liked the video. Thank you.